There's many ways to handle clients in ClickUp, but today I want to specifically focus on my coaches out there and how you can handle your clients in ClickUp. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. With 2020 being or having been what it is, teaching us that online is a possibility for so many things, so many coaches and consultants have moved solely into online. No more paper, no more lady at the front desk that's taking care of your stuff all being done. And suddenly we have an influx of coaches and consultants that don't know how to stay up with their clients, make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do and making sure you are doing what you are supposed to do in this new digital world for them. Now I'm lucky enough that I've been online and pretty much running my business online for the last 10 years, all of my businesses. So I decided in this series, let's show you around. Let's show you how this is done and how it can be really easy for you. If you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, go make sure to go watch that playlist and start with those two initial videos so that we can dive in right here and you know exactly what's happening. So. Now that you're back and have watched the other two videos, let's dive into my specific setup, how I handle specifically ClickUp consulting clients, but this is applicable throughout pretty much anything and it will make your life so much easier because you can template it and reuse it for every single client. So looking at your screen, you do want to set up a space specifically just for your clients. They don't need to be in your regular admin or leads or web or your marketing, no. One space specifically just for your clients and then every client becomes a folder underneath. Once they're done, you just archive the folder, save it in the back, you can always pull it up. If you haven't seen it, little pro tip, right up here when you go into the settings, you can show archived. So when you archive a client, once they are not an active client anymore, you always can show those folders again that way. Now your client becomes a folder. Cool. We got that. What are we doing with those lists underneath? Fairly simple. In this case, I need to assess where the client is. This doesn't matter if you are a coach, a regular business coach, if you're a LinkedIn coach, there's always an assessment phase for your clients meaning assessing how their business is working, how they are doing with self-confidence and business knowledge and those kind of things. In my case, we are assessing their ClickUp. Now, one list in itself for assessment, which is connected to, I don't wanna show you those specific answers of that client, but we can grab it right from the template. You always should have your template folder ready. In that assessment list, and it's specifically set up in the assessment list, it's not in the client folder. This is just needed for the assessment, which is why I plugged it into the list level. And we build a form that asks my clients and their team, how are you feeling about ClickUp? Who are you? First of all, what user world do you have? Do you even know which user world in ClickUp you have? How do you feel about certain things in ClickUp? And they sent that over to me. What then happens is in that assessment list view, all of these answers are gonna pop up and their assessment also will be calculated. Their, let's, let's give you just a short look, just, just a really short look. Look, all of those, and in the end, all the way on the bottom, they are getting calculated and I know exactly what is happening with those clients, where are they going, how are they feeling about it? You can do the same exact thing with your clients, no matter if you're helping them with the tool, business, whatever it is. Perfect assessment and perfect to rerun this every two, three, four months, no big deal. Then we do have roadmap. Roadmap is a great list to lay out where are you taking this client? What are the steps that need to get done? Where, what, what, what are we doing? Where are we going with this? To do is the actual to do items of your clients. What needs to get done? 
downgrading, logos, automations in this case. What are you working on? What do you need the client to take care of? That is the to-do list. Client training. This is where your life gets really, really easy. This is how are we working with each other? How can you get a hold of me? In my case, how does ClickUp work? Just the basics, so we don't have to spend our intensive call time on me showing you how to use the multi toolbar. That's your training right here. Use that for client onboarding, use that for stuff that is basic, that you don't want the client to spend premium dollar on and just have them do it. Set deadlines to it, assign the client to it, give them videos with it, give them subtasks with it, and let them go. This is a perfect course setup straight up in ClickUp. And then last but not least, we also have a call list where all of the resources that came together in each of our intensive calls are being collected. We note the date down. You can, if you wanted to, also track the hours of your intensive. As I'm doing multiple intensives with clients, I'm going to start actually tracking the time of how long those calls were to make sure they are getting everything they paid for. We also link our call notes. I have a script for my calls. I have a follow-up script for my calls that's linked right in here, as well as the call recording. And that's how you easily can handle your clients in ClickUp. Now, little pro tip, when you go up into that highest client level in that folder, usually everything would show in here, including training and all the things. Make use of the filter and really take out whatever you don't want in here. In this case, we left out the assessment because it would just be overwhelming in here and there is no way for us to actually get any information out of this if I have the full assessment in here. Clean it up. Now, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell because soon there is coming a dashboard video for you on how to handle your clients in dashboards. Because did you know? ClickUp just opened up dashboards on mobile. It's finally working on mobile too. That was a big holdback for us to not use those dashboards with clients because a lot of my clients are working off the iPad or working off the phone. It is possible now, so hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when that video gets uploaded.